Hey folks, I just got uh, this test oscillator or a sound generator and I got a set of these speakers, they're studio monitors. They're 150 watts in pair and I hooked up my power amplifier which is about I think it's about 100 watts per channel and I found it in the my junk collections in the attic this frequency generator creates 20 Hertz to 24 kilohertz both sine and square so I hooked up the output of this to the power amp and I'm gonna just preliminarily check it this has a lot of output I don't want to blow the speakers, although they have protective circuit in them. But this is the first step of my sonic cannon. Of course, this is going to be replaced with better transducers. So let's plug this uh, sound generator. Of course, I had to. Uh, block the names to protect myself from branding strikes by Google and by the company so I won't reveal the name on them and Google won't publish them if there is a branding claim by any of these companies so let's Plug this in here. This is the sound generator, and it's on. And I have the sine wave output connected to the power amp, and from the power amp, the output goes to the studio monitors. And my gain level is at 50%, and I'm going to fire up the power amp. Okay, it's on. I'm at 20 hertz. Okay, folks, sorry about that. It was an emergency call from my wife due to that airplane crash on the freeway by my house she had to take a detour and she's stuck in the traffic but anyways I got the setting on the frequency of the sound generator at 20 Hertz and I got the sine wave connected so I'm gonna increase the level I don't know how sensitive your speakers or your ears are so pardon me for any inconvenience. This is 20 Hertz and you can see how the woofer is bouncing back and forth. And my power output has almost a quarter. I'm gonna increase to 100 Hertz. go to 500 1 kilohertz 
And I don't know how accurate those numberings are on the sun generator. I have to check it with an oscilloscope. I'm going to lower the volume. Let me close the garage door so I won't be bothering the neighbors. Okay, here we go. We're at 3 kilohertz based on the display on the generator. And I'm at 15% of the sine level output. I'm going to increase it a little bit. And it's really ear piercing. So I'm going to go to 20. Increase the volume a little bit. I'm reducing the output of it. Gonna go higher. We're at 21 kilohertz. I can barely hear it. I'm gonna go to 23 and 24 all the way. So I'm gonna go back again. down to 20 Hertz on sine wave so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna switch the output from sine to square wave and see the difference okay let's try this again now I'm at the square wave At 20 hertz, you can you can see the difference between the continuity of the sound and how it cuts out. I'm gonna go higher to 250. This is square wave at 250 hertz, 500, 1 kilo, 3 kilo, 10, I'm gonna go, I'm about 20. Twenty one, twenty three, twenty four, which I cannot hear, unfortunately. So, this is basically the stepping stones for my sonic blaster. I have to get some good transducers to provide the best output of the sound oscillator 
and also may look for a smaller amplifier this is too too heavy duty but i'll keep you guys posted on the progress thanks for watching guys